Hi everyone, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to our channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about enabling data connectors in Microsoft Sentinel and this will be the fifth video of the entire series that I'm going to create for Microsoft Sentinel. Now, in my last video, I was highlighting the importance of knowing data connectors because this is the first step that you have to keep in mind or this is the first step that you should choose to get started because once you onboard a data connector then you can go ahead and perform data ingestion okay now in order to access data connector configuration you have to navigate to microsoft sentinel console and then in the configuration you have to select data connectors so this is my portal where i have signed into portal.azure.com and i've selected my account which has all the privileges and this is the instance which we have just set up. So I'm just going to click on this and I'm going to quickly minimize content management and I'm going to show you this option which says data connectors. Now, as you can see, it is showing me practically nothing because there is nothing that I have onboarded. Now, the question is how exactly I should onboard data connectors. So for that, you have to go to Content Hub and search for a, a respective data connector that you want to onboard. So let's say I want to get started by ingesting Microsoft Entra ID uh, logs, which is this particular connector. And as you can see, it is showing now the status as not installed. Okay. Now the question comes, what exactly happens when you go ahead and onboard a data connector? Let's say, let's say if I talk about this particular connector itself, I can see multiple information getting listed over here, which includes analytical rules, data connectors, playbooks, and workbooks as well. But moreover, there are a couple of other options as well that you get with a connector. So let's say you search for a connector, let's say for Cisco ICE, okay? In this case, you will also get an option to onboard or there is a specific parser that will also get onboarded. So in a nutshell, when you go ahead and install a connector on your Sentinel instances, then there are multiple different components as well that will get installed. Likewise, analytical rules, data connectors, hunting queries, parsers, playbook, watch list and workbooks. Now, there could be a question that why data connector is listed over here. This is basically the configuration which will go ahead and query the data and get that ingested into your log analytics workspace. So if I talk about the one which I have searched, which is Microsoft Entra ID. Now, if you look at this particular section, it shows that once you install this particular connector, there are around 63 different analytical rules that will get onboarded with the help of one data connector itself, 11 playbooks and two workbooks. So fundamentally, whenever you onboard a data connector, or let's say what happens when you onboard a data connector, every configuration that's available with that particular data connector as well is also available in your environment. So this section that you see over here, these are basically analytical rules, sorry, uh, these are basically playbook templates which are available once you onboard Microsoft Entra. Now these are all different rules which will get onboarded the moment you enable this data connector. So let me show you all this in action and then things will make a lot more sense. So as of now, this connector is not installed, okay? So let's say if I go back to my Sentinel again on a different tab and show you the analytical rule section. And then if I try to search for data source, let me click on rule template as well. And then let's say if I click on add a filter and then if I say data source and here, let's say if I search for Microsoft Entra ID and I click on apply, you can see these are all different instances of analytical rule which are available because for this particular instance, the connection is established. The connector is onboarded. However, if I show you the one which we have set up for this particular series, and now if I go to analytical rule section, and now if I click on rule template, and if I apply a filter of Microsoft Entra ID, what you would see is nothing will get populated over here. It says, no result matching your criteria. Now, the only reason is because we have not onboarded the connector. 
So this could be a very effective uh, way of understanding how exactly multiple components of Sentinel works. Fundamentally, you have to go to Content Hub and then search for the respective connector that you want to onboard. In our case, it will be Microsoft Entra. I will select this and the moment I will click on install. Now, every component that is available with this particular connector, which includes 11 playbooks, 63 analytical rules, one data connector and two workbooks. These are all different components which will get installed in this particular instance. And once it is installed, we can go ahead and use them as per our requirement. Likewise, I was stating before that if you choose any other, let's say, con uh, connector, let's say if I talk about Cisco Umbrella, what you also see is with this, you are getting one parser, right? Which was not the case with Microsoft Entra ID. Now, let's say if I go back to my analytical rules uh, console and now if I apply the same filter which was selected before, which is Microsoft Enter ID, you can see all the analytical rules are getting listed over here. Similarly, if I go ahead and let's say search for uh, automation, okay, let's, let, let's see that whether we are getting any playbook templates uh, available for Microsoft Enter because while we were enabling the connector it was showing us that around 11 different playbooks will get added and as you can see it is showing me microsoft entra id playbooks as well now this will not be the scenario until and unless you have onboarded a data connector so now the data connector is onboarded and i can just go ahead and select my respective data connector and get started with that okay so this was all about knowing how data connectors are onboarded and what exactly happens when you onboard a data connector. In the next video, we'll get started with connecting Microsoft Entra ID connector and I'll show you how exactly Azure AD logs are ingested to Microsoft Sentinel. So if you think that this channel is helping you to learn anything new, please feel free to subscribe and share this video with your technical community. Thank you so much. Thanks for your time.